Hey guys, welcome to Atlas Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video, I'm going to explain you about how to become a an automation tester with a proper roadmap. In this video, we will discuss about how you can basically learn about the Selenium with Java. So right now the programming language that we have chosen is the Java because it is most widely used. Many people were asking me, uh, Pramod, give us a proper step-by-step -step roadmap for the how we can become an automation tester after after one year, two year, three years. Right. So this is exactly the roadmap that I have followed personally and I have created a beautiful roadmap that basically contains further subtopics also. So I have gone through the granular level where you can see very subtopics which are really really important for you to become an automation tester. Alright, so after watching this video, you will have a more clarity, right? How you can become an automation tester, what are the different topics that you should know. And in the end, I'm going to discuss about the important points related to the if data structures and other things are required to become an automation tester or not. Alright, so let's get started. Let's stick to the end and let's learn how to become an automation tester through roadmap. Alright, so let's get started. This map that I have created, right? It basically is divided into the five parts importantly. Okay, and I won't go in too much details, but I will give you a proper structure how you can basically can go through the step one, step two, step three, and what will be your action plan. So to become an automation tester, I think only three to four months is enough where you can basically go through the all the topics and these topics, you can just note it down or you can research by yourself how to learn those topics. All right. So we will start from the core Java first. Okay. So code is really important because I have told you, right, this automation roadmap basically focus on the very important programming language, which is Java, which is widely used right now. And uh, out of, for example, suppose we have like 10 jobs, seven jobs basically want Java. That's why we are basically sticking with the Java right now. And if you see, I have basically further added other things also. For example, in core Java, what are the different topics that you need to learn? For example, what is Java, Java polyformism, platform, memory location, and furthermore, right? We won't go in the more details, but you are get, get the point what i wanted to say okay so similarly we have a java advanced where we will learn about the day in lambda expression and new things that are getting introduced right so for this the how your plan should be right so according to me uh, this one right you need to focus on the core java first which is your programming language after that you need to have some basics of sql queries you don't have to have very advanced level of sql queries just uh, learn about one of the sql for example you can learn about the mysql which is widely used right now and what other different topics the topics can include joins right different jo types of joins how to select a query update delete and other things right so basics of the sqls are required to become automation tester because many times we have to use okay now we have the important part which is introduction to selenium testing with selenium tool because selenium is the most widely uh, we will be using right uh, whenever we are doing any kind of a ui automation we will be using selenium right and we are using java in this case because that is widely used so we have a uh, basics of selenium we have as basics uh, we have advanced concepts after that we will move towards the selenium grid selenium grid basically where you will now suppose you have almost like 500 thousand test cases right how will you execute them in multiple browsers how will you manage your threads right how will you basically reduce the time right all the things that you will learn here and after that you will create your own automation framework which will help you to basically any new New organization where you will go right you will basically can uh, create this automation framework and use it right and we will use a test framework called as test ng which is widely used and the build platform which is maven right now i think these are enough topics for example it will take almost like 1.5 months to two months to learn all the topics if you learn one hour a day right this is what you have to do so you have to do a commitment of one hour a day and you can learn till now okay so in two months you are going to finish the selenium core java as well as the test ng and the maven right and afterwards you have to go like this okay now you need to learn about the cloud infrastructure also because most of the companies right now are using uh, cloud selenium grids like browser stack source labs which will help you to scale your test cases right now you need to learn about the ci cd tools like jenkins where you will basically do the automation of your build execution right you will have the reports added you will have uh, excel working on the excel file log 4 js these are some extra utilities 
capabilities that you will going to add to your automation framework after that you can learn about the page object pattern also where i think page object pattern and automation framework you will learn side by side so those things are important and the kit which is again the part of a ci cd pipeline right now in the end you are going to build your own framework from the scratch which will basically give you a confidence i think till now here almost like two and a half months are finished where if you are giving one hour a day and now you are ready i think you are ready now to give start giving the interview and you can also include cucumber beauty because many companies are already implemented it and using it and now you have to start your interview preparation and start giving the automation testing interviews okay so i think uh, this plan goes around for two to three months or three to four months almost uh, depending upon how much you are putting your efforts for example if you're putting two hours a day three hours a day right basically you can squeeze it to the 1.5 month to the two months also, okay so now let's come to the very important point which uh, you guys are interested to know so important point to become an automation tester so people are afraid that there is a heavy use of dsa which is data structure algorithm is required to become an automation tester with my 10 years of experience i don't think so guys we don't use heavy data structures like tries or binarities only uh, i would say important uh, data structures like collections right basics of collection hash map hash tables are enough most of the time almost like 90 95 percent of the time they will basically give you the whatever the automation that you wanted to do all right similarly for example rarely we have used uh, linked list or anything any other concepts okay but you should know it i think you should know it but heavy use of data structure algorithm is i think i don't think so so second important point is uh, it is very important for you to jump early into the automation for example suppose if you have like zero to one year experience i think it's a really really good time for you to jump into automation because you have a fresh mindset you have a fresh mindset of a programmer also because you have done some of the programming in the btech right and your bachelor's right so it will be very easy for you to jump right now the more you delay for example after two years three years or four years it will become a very very difficult for you and i have seen this personally and i think i have jumped after one and a half year of experience so go for it okay after three years i'm telling you right after three years it will be very difficult for you to jump into the, the automation testing because now the expectation is little high programming skills will be uh, becomes very very high so my recommendation is anyone who is fresher as well as have was zero to one or zero to two years experience now it's a good time for you to prepare for three to four months follow this roadmap and start contributing or start becoming the automation tester all right trust me it will help you a lot nobody nobody will talk about this uh and i think i haven't i haven't seen any video where people are telling you about how early you should switch to the automation right so this is the right time and now another interesting thing that i have seen is uh in some companies they need heavy dsas or uh, sometimes they have a very core logic that is what they want to automate but uh rarely rarely i have seen that people are using data structure algorithms okay so i hope this makes sense and the roadmap is already available in the description also i hope this will help and i think this one i have used it personally so let me know if you want more details type part two in the comment i'll create a part two of the video where i will discuss about the more important topics and what are the things that you should know how to prepare for an automation interview also all right just type part two in the comment and make sure you give it a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye